Alright, I wasn't going to do a video tonight, and the next video I was going to post was going to be on the gear I currently have, and then the next video was going to be on the gear that I plan on purchasing. However, I'm trying to capture all of my uh, training and prepping experiences on camera and give to you guys for some entertainment purposes. Um, so, what I'm doing right now is doing a lot of research on the internet from other through hikers of the AT and taking a collective list of their items and gear that they carry with them and kind of integrating that and making my own list of things that I'm going to want to carry with me. Some are items I already have in my possession. Some of those items I'm going to duplicate and replace, such as a hammock. I have a hammock that weighs currently 1.5 pounds. Um, and I think I can beat that weight and I can, and I can get a better uh, suspension system. So I'm going to buy another hammock and another suspension system. Um, other things such as clothes, I'm going to be able to um, buy and uh, save on weight. I'm shooting for 15 pounds plus with the pack uh, for this expedition. One thing I'm not quite sure of is people recommend 15 pounds, but my question is it, it can't include water or food because, you know, I mean, the sleep system, the shelter, uh, the clothing, and some of the other miscellaneous items, it, I mean, 15 pounds adds up fast. And water, when you factor in water, that is uh, just over 8 pounds per gallon. And I'm going to be carrying a Camelback 3 liter hydration system, and you know that's going to be 8 pounds right there, 9 pounds with the actual reservoir. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing right now, and um, the next video should be on the items that I currently have and uh, as well as showing you some of the items that I have but I'm not going to carry with me because I'm trying to save weight and that's another big issue is that I'm finding out <laughs> hiking with 15 or 20 pounds on your back um, on flat and level ground doesn't really seem like a big deal at all I can hike on flat and level ground with 50 or 60 pounds but when you're going over uh, treacherous terrain um, steep inclination levels, um, up mountains, down mountains, and stuff. Uh, that weight just is uh, very apprehending to mo movement. And I think a through hike, a genuine through hike of 2,200 miles on this um, AT trail, weight um, or lack thereof is going to mean the difference between a successful completion of the trail and giving up somewhere early on um, in the start. So I'm going to think this through very carefully and I'm going to try to decrease the weight as much as possible and uh, I've watched YouTube videos of people uh, you know counting ounces and you know, I thought, what the hell are they doing? You know, it's just, you know, a couple items here and there, they, um, by themselves, they don't weigh a lot, but they do add up. That's a fact. And I realized the importance of saving weight on this expedition because it is truly going to mean the difference between failure and success. So I appreciate you guys tuning in, and um, again, <clears throat> I plan on uh, filming the entire journey, or at least portions of it, and taking the extra equipment if I get enough subscribers and uh, views of my training videos uh, leading up to this expedition. So um, if I don't get enough subscribers, if I don't get enough views, then I'm not, I'm not going to bother with it. So uh, with that said, thanks for tuning in.